Tezos to ten dollars in 2020. Welcome back, guys. It's Crypto Rocco from Rockstar Trading Channel. In this video, guys, I'll be explaining what Tezos is fundamentally. So we'll be taking a look at Tezos in detail, what it's about, some of its usage, some future news that are coming out and the potential for tezos in the cryptocurrency and blockchain we'll be looking at some news as well that's going on with tezos at the end of the video guys i'll do what i do best i'll do my price prediction for tezos and i'll share with you a trading strategy that you can use to get into tezos if you're interested in it so guys i used to do these videos quite a lot where i look at fundamentals of a coin and lately i've been doing more technical analysis and trading and that's what my but my job is tra trading i'm a day trader i love trading and technical analysis but I'd like to do a couple of these a month where I look into a coin in detail the fundamentals the team behind it the governance behind it so let me know if you're interested guys um, I'll try and do a couple of these a month so comment below any coins you want me to look at in the future and if you haven't subscribed to my channel guys make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification button and if you're interested in trading guys I'll leave the links below to check out the the trading website and the groups we've got so without further ado let's get into the video so what is tech Tezos. So Tezos was it made a huge news when it collected 232 million in the record breaking ICO and uh, this is to me is not the best news guys this is probably a negative to me I don't want I mean 230 million that's a lot of money for an ICO this happened you know during the ICO boom um, back in 2017 and that's when people were really excited with any cryptocurrency or blockchain people would get hugely excited so that's probably not the best thing that i like about tezos but i mean it shows their marketing is quite good so according to their website tezos is a new decentralized blockchain that governs itself by establishing a digital commonwealth so commonwealth is a group that chooses to be linked together because of their shared goals and interested and one of the key things about tezos that i really like is their governance which i will be going into in a bit more detail later on so tezos run uh, had uh, first into a lot of management issues and i talk about governance but they have had management issues to understand these management issues you must know that tezos founding company is dls and the company that holds all the funds collected during the ico named tezos foundation the two main people about te on tezos are arthur and kathleen brightman so they're the foundation or the founders co-founders of tezos it's the architect uh, of Tezos, which is quite important to understand. So in, in the generic uh, blockchain protocol, it's divided into three layers, network protocol, transaction protocol, and consensus protocol. In Tezos, the last two are combined to be referred as a blockchain protocol. The network shell aids in the communication between the network protocol and blockchain protocol. The network shell is agnostic to the transaction protocol and the consensus protocol. So I'm not going to go into too much detail on the impl implicit and uh, originated accounts. If you're interested, I recommend you read this. This is explains Tezos in a bit more detail. And also, before you invest, guys, please just don't watch this video and invest all your money in Tezos. Have a you know have a read on on what Tezos is. You know, read their white paper. I'm not going to go into all of that. But when you're investing in Coin, again, I'm more of a trader. I don't invest. Um, I, I did take part in a couple of ICOs. Uh, mainly, you know, if you're investing you need to do their research even contact their team which I have done for a couple of projects I've invested in get in contact with their teams you shouldn't just blindly invest by watching a YouTube video so that's a really important point to make so to understand the importance of on-chain governance and self amending you need to first understand the F word a, a fork is a condition whereby the state blockchain diverges chains into where a part of the network has dif different perspective on the history of the transaction than a different part of the network so I'm I'm sure you've really you've heard a lot about soft fork and hard fork. So think of soft fork as an update in the software which back which is backwards compatible. What does this mean? Suppose you're running Excel 2005, uh, you can still open 2015. A hard fork it changes. Uh, there's a lot more changes and it's not as compatible. It's not backward compatible. So think of PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4. You can't play PlayStation 3 games on PlayStation 4. So uh, when there is a, so it's, it, the reason why I'm explaining it, when you when you look, look into governance of your project, it's really important to understand uh, the fork. So and Andreas Antonopoulos is a if you you have to follow him he's probably one of the only youtubers that i follow in the cryptocurrency space most of them just try and pump 
corns to the moon. So if a vegetarian uh, restaurant would choose to add pork to the menu, it would be considered a hard fork if they would decide to add vegan dishes where every, everyone who is vegetarian could still eat it. You, you don't uh, have to be a vegan to eat there. It's a soft fork and obviously Bitcoin Cash is an example of it. So the great irony of Bitcoin is that it's ultimately a tool for community consensus, but it's marred by tremendous amount of anon animosity. Uh, Tezos allows for innovation to happen in a systemized way as opposed to one born of politics. You will, you, you will not find two people who are loath politicking more than Arthur and me. That's the, that's the idea behind Tezos. Ideally formalize this extraordinarily informal process. So, so again, the, the governance, like I said, is quite, is really good for Tezos and something that I personally like. And if you know about proof of work and proof of stake, uh, the newer projects uh, tend to be on proof of stake and Tezos do it, has got a liquid proof of stake which is quite different so proof of stake will, ma uh, will make the entire mining process virtual and replace miners with validators so how does the liquid democracy work again I'm going through this because I don't want this video to be longer than 20 minutes um, so I'm going through it a bit quicker so I'm trying to read out the most important bits so what is this a system that f uh, fluidly tr uh, transitions between direct democracy and re res representative democracy the process has the following features people can vote on their policies directly people can delegate their voting responsibilities to delegate uh, who can vote on their policies for them Delegates themselves can delegate their voting responsibilities to another delegate who can vote on their behalf. If a person who has delegated their voting doesn't like the vote the delegates have chosen, they can simply take their vote back and vote on the policy themselves. So what are the advantages? The opinion of each individual counts and plays a part in the final creation. Because of the option uh, th to oscillate between direct and delegated democracy, minority groups can be fairly represented. So that is quite important. So unlike delegated proof of stake, there's no hard and fast rule that delegates absolutely need to be selected. It's completely the participant as to what they want to do. So what is the liquid proof of stake? Liquid proof of stake system that requires one stake, a, a certain number of Tezos token to participate consensus over the blockchain process of staking Tezos is called baking. Take a uh, token holders token holders uh, aka bakers can delegate their validation rights to other token holders without transferring ownership unlike eos delegation is optional so baking blocks uh, bakers get block publishing rights based on their stake each block baked on a random baker then notarized by 32 random bakers um, I, i'm probably going into a bit more detail i'll leave a lot of these to read for yourself the programming side of things especially so guys um so more on uh, the the, uh, the Mickelson is strongly uh, typed uh, stack based language in Ethereum. Smart contracts are written in solid uh, Solidity or Viper. They get compiled into EVM bytecode. Again, I'm not a coder, but I've heard uh, that these these are the most used ones. This is the popular ones, and Ethereum is still the most popular one. So I'm not talking about Ada, Tezos, EOS are going to take over the world. So keep that in mind. In Tezos, there's no unnecessary step and the Mickelson code itself gets turned into Tezos M. So that is, for developers, that is a very, very important thing. In conclusion, so there you have it. Tezos is an extremely intri intriguing project, which unfortunately got overshadowed by all the behind the scene dramas and lawsuits, which I'll touch in a bit. This project deserves closer anal analysis because it is bringing in some interesting utility into the blockchain. So now we have to wait whether we can justify the hype. So the main thing I wanna talk about is security tokens, guys. So Tezos, security tokens, on Tezos and why so security tokens I think is the next big thing when we do get another bull move in Bitcoin and cryptocurrency I think security tokens will do quite well so simply security tokens are real world assets that are deployed on blockchain there are numerous types of assets that can be deployed so it's basically the tokenization of everything real estate equity bonds and and more and I think this is going to be the next big thing as uh, security tokens allow stranded assets to be liqu liquefied and traded in real time real assets is an is notoriously difficult to extract capital from you essentially have to either sell where it just makes it a lot easier real time pricing again i love security tokens i've talked about security tokens previously tokenization will have another benefit that many people don't want to talk about when there's a huge pile of real estate and loan that is underwater defunct or defaulted it is difficult to get rid of these uh, obviously 
tokenization it creates a market for assets and loans people want to get rid of so why tezos guys why are these companies entities choosing to conduct stos on tezos the answer is, is uh, that resolves three focal points on tezos as uh, has compared to its larger counterparts and the three focal points which will go on to certain include some insights from uh, this this person will show why tezos is dominating the sto space so institutional grade smart contracts tezos utilizes formal verification process that proves that mathematically uh, correctness of the code i'm um, again briefly going through this i r really recommend you read it other chains like cardano will similarly allow formal uh, verification so why does Te tezos make such a big deal out of it because tezos aims to be a high security high value chain it wants to make rigor safety key practices so a lot of people are trying to you know take uh, take something out of the pie uh, can tezos be the main person we will have to see so secure custody within tezos client software it includes a for form format formally verified multi-signature contract this allows for cold storage deployment and management of smart contracts and with high complex high value is crucial in storing and deploying large amounts uh, upgradability tezos features a formal mechanism by which network participants are able to upgrade protocol through formal amendment process which which probably makes a bit more sense of what i was talking about previously which could have been a bit boring so one possible approach to stos are meant to be traded in real time sort of like putting property on a stock market so tezos can uh, play a part in that bakers get fees for building blocks there are some burned executions it could perhaps is likely tezos be may be more valuable in the sense that people will need to buy tezos to pay for execution fees so that it could be a use case for tezos again we're at a very early stage guys i'm not saying this will happen uh, but no one has uh, taken property and done real-time trading with it but it is trivial on blockchain so it's better fit to do with stos on blockchain that could be uh, security stocks i think that is probably more likely than properties and real estate but we could look at that happening as well so uh, there are numerous STO deals announced and planned to be conducted on Tezos totaling approximately I mean I, I've not verified it myself but you can read it yourself that is a lot of amount I'm going to read this bit after per, uh, performing diligence on Tezos blockchain we found Tezos is great for high complexity at uh, high value with the formally verified contracts you can test high value transactions prior to publishing them to blockchain providing greater confidence in safely and securely using the blockchain anything which furthers security and reliability is of interest to our clients we are projecting that within the next year 25 to 35 percent amount processed through our platform will be tezos blockchain currently our clients have processed half a billion through our platform and they're currently seeking to issue 3 billion plus so you can see the usage of tezos tezos has emerged as a clear leader in the sto space secure securing roughly 2.6 billion in future stos conducted on the tezos protocol with features native tezos such as institutional grade smart contracts allowing for facilitation of four more verified smart contracts secure custody and the upgradability of Tezos protocol. Tezos remain an attractive choice for entities to conduct STOs on. So Tezos, that's why, our, this is personally why I'm so interested in Tezos. So Tezos ecosystem is massive and its bakers are spreading the word, uh, sp spreading the word. So these are the two founders, the name person I talked about, uh, Arthur Breitman. Uh, there's obviously, there's lots of stuff going on. Uh, this Tezos are very involved. I recommend you always do your analysis. Please don't don't just buy it check their twitter pages what they're doing Again, i could spend an hour talking about tezos uh, i think I'm, I'm going into a lot of detail anyway but you know i always check their reddit groups their twitter groups their websites to see that they're working i think with tezos you can guarantee that they are working i'm not saying they're going to be success in the future but w whatever research that you do you can see that they're working and a big thing that i'll talk about uh, is the growth of security tokens tezos and if, if anyone interested in tezos will be interested in that as well so i'll be looking at a couple of news that's coming up with tezos and i will share with you just two seconds i will share with you my trading strategy for tezos we are in a couple of trades we're looking at shorting gold at the moment uh, so we'll have a look if that drops so there's someone in the group uh, that's looking to short gold um, and I'm, I'm also helping him to find a strategy to make money from it so this is uh, our group guys i'll recommend you check it out guys uh, i need to keep an eye out for for the gold trade if it does break down i'll provide trading signals as well there's a trading course here in the unit section which you can 
uh, look through and there's a, uh, active members we post and trade together and we can also discuss cryptocurrency as well I've provided live signals on cryptocurrency and I'll definitely provide it on Tezos if we get one as well apologies for this guys I'm just having a quick look at gold see if it's if it does break down I'll need to post it and and, and let the group know so I'll carry on with the news of Tezos now and I'll, I'll share with you the Tezos strategy at the end of the video so Tezos guys what we are seeing uh, one of the news that's coming up is the first game built on Tezos set for alpha launch the players have the incentive to develop efficient strategies and FT powered games are looking to launch quickly emerging set for alpha phase in April players have incentive to develop efficient strategies using undervalue cards so that is quite interesting again this is I'm, I'm more interested in the security side of things but this is showing, showing the technical development of Tezos religiously mo monitoring this testing testing retesting support hopefully it's getting weaker so should be able to scope up at some major discounts so that's sort of the price prediction that I will be doing and at the moment you know the price it, it is quite cheap and um, that's why I'm doing more of a fundamental analysis from a technical point of view it's not as interesting the main news uh, we we're going to talk about is the alpha launch and the first game built on Tezos and that will put it that will definitely get a lot of interest in Tezos uh, so we need that is a positive I'm not taking it lightly it is definitely a positive it will show the usability the reliability of the blockchain so it is really interesting uh, but I'm like I said really excited about the Tezos security launches um, security tokens on Tezos and the tokenization I think that's the next big thing in cryptocurrency Binance, Binance US will list Tezos tokens for trading in March 13th March 16th so that is another positive there's more people that got access to Tezos and can buy Tezos so transfer agent chooses Tezos over Ethereum for security token development again that's another positive again I'm, I'm hugely an Ethereum fan I'm not buying saying that you know Tezos is going to be an Ethereum killer but you know they're picking Tezos so Tezos have definitely got usability and uh, the, the things that I mentioned earlier is attractive to people who want to use it we think that covers 99% of security tokens and smart contract landscape for equity and debt so you know Tezos uh, formatted smart uh, tokens is very very interesting real estate fund managed via Tezos security token could simultaneously pay out staking based dividends to an asset secured dividend uh, dividend as is traditionally paid in investments like real estate trusts an area that is key focus for the Tetelo and other security token platforms around the world so that is a very interesting thing about Tezos one not so positive thing about Tezos is probably the lawsuits that Tezos have so we will have to see uh, how they deal with le uh, the lawsuits but at the moment uh, the amount of money that they've got they're uh, the, the, they're usually settling uh, the lawsuits outside uh, so we'll have to see how that play out but with the money that they've got uh, the, even with the money that they've got the legal costs are on rise so that's a uncertainty about Tezos but you know few it's not just Tezos few cryptocurrencies have these lawsuits so we need to keep that in mind I'm not just projecting the positives I, uh, I like to talk about the negatives and the positives and I want you guys to make up your mind so that's the fundamental part of it done um, I'd love to hear your thoughts guys again I'm not a cryptographer or a, or a coder so if you're an expert in Tezos share with share with us your thoughts guys I'd love to have a discussion below you can also join the groups and have a discussion there or you can comment below and let's have a discussion so let's have a look at um, the the fundamental side of things again this is what I excel in um, so Tezos guys um, is back into really really low prices and and the key thing I'm looking for is guys this breakout level this is a huge level guys and if I draw my Fibonacci I'm doing it from scratch so if you're new to this you can see and where it is at the moment it is bouncing from the 618 Fibonacci um, and if it can get back above it guys I mean you could look to buy some Tezos it's best to buy Tezos at a dollar than when it goes to a huge amount so uh, this is this is the price level that you should be looking to buy Tezos so that's one of the first points I want to make and again only buy some again don't go all in don't yeah I'm not I'm not I'm not investing in Tezos myself so don't go investing all your money in Tezos and some 
something could happen this is a very very risky investment so you have to be very very careful but what we have seen is tezos guys it rallied a lot into four dollars uh, earlier in the year and i was very excited and if you remember i made the tezos breakout video and i posted the exact signal of how i was trading tezos and that worked out really well i recommend you go watch that video but it didn't do what I wanted it to do it couldn't stay above this it had a huge sell-off so this is more of an accumulation zone so this is where you could buy some you know have your stop loss below uh, more of an investing strategy if you want from a trading point of view guys we need to get back above 786 Fibonacci that is something really really important and I'll look at the Bitcoin chart as well which is even more important than the dollar chart but I know a few people just trade against the dollar uh, that's why I'm sharing this so if you remember bottoming patterns uh, this is not looking too bad at the moment if it is going to bottom like this guys then we can look to buy here and I will let you guys know make sure you subscribe to my channel I'll definitely let you know uh, when this happens if it does that guys Tezos could be heading into the two three dollar mark so that's the medium term a uh, technical analysis that I can show you and if we get back above two and a half cents which was previous resistance previous support then it can rally hard i mean if you look at bitcoin guys what bitcoin has done uh, when bitcoin got back above it it rallied hard bitcoin went uh, uh, excuse me this chart is not very clear bitcoin rallied about 120 percent so tezos if it gets back above 250 guys it will be really bullish and it can pull off something like that and especially being a smaller coin when when people form into it it breaks out hard uh, what i was looking for here is guys tezos holding this and getting back above four dollars and i'm not going to make crazy predictions saying tezos is going to ten dollars and whatever but what i would say is guys when there's fomo and if tezos does get you know uh, get huge security tokens and uh, its usability use there's u increase in use cases then yeah it could pull off something like ethereum ethereum gone up to crazy numbers who would have thought ethereum hitting those 800 numbers and a thousand dollar mark when we when there's four more guys we can rally hard so i'm not going to rule out anything it can go to those levels but it could take time we need to wait for the next cryptocurrency boom with stock market that's why it's really important to look at the whole markets and not just crypto cryptocurrency that's why I encourage in my group there's mainly cryptocurrency traders I recommend them look at stocks and if, if, if with what's going on in the world and if stocks crash then Bitcoin and cryptocurrency market could crash in the short term and the mid term and it could take years before we could see those prices again you know we've been in it we've in, if you study the Bitcoin chart guys we have had time where we were just in downtrends and if you go back to weeks and weeks you'll see we, we were in bear markets for years so you need to ask yourself how long are you in this market for you know here we were in a bear market for for in a half a year here it was probably longer so we need to be very careful we can't just be saying we're gonna go up and up so if you look at here guys from April 13th um, to October 13th we were in a bear market and here it was probably the longest one we had uh, until the 2017 ones you can see for almost over two years uh, we were in a, in this uh, bear market so we have to be patient guys we're not gonna just you know three years almost so we have to be patient it could be two three years if you're you know this is more of a prediction videos of longer term and um, i'm sharing with you my technical analysis on a shorter time frame then i want you guys to think about the longer time frame as well longer term we don't know where we're going to go it can when things go parabolic it can really go to even hundred dollars we don't know from a shorter time point of view this is what i'm looking at if you're looking at trading guys wait for it to get back above two dollars for a trade and then if we get above 250 i think we are going to go to that four or five dollar level which uh, which is a very reasonable target for this year if we can't guys if we keep breaking below i think one dollar should be the next target which is if you're investing in it you could look to buy some and if we get back below there guys then i probably wouldn't be holding tezos even if the fundamentals are good wait for it to get back above because like i said if you're investing in the long term it could be three four years you could, the price could be going sideways um, and what i do is find coins that are going up so you know the coin that some of the signals are provided was XRP USD. I think I made a video on USD uh, as well. I, I, I like to be in coins that are going up. So Bitcoin Cash is one that I'm interested in. One that I posted signal on is ICX, which is going really well. 
you can see a huge breakout these are the coins that you should be interested in and not the coins that are just going sideways because the coins can keep going sideways for a while and you don't want to really be stuck in those coins and hopefully Tezos is not that it doesn't do that but there is a potential for it so if you're investing in it long term yes you can do that and just you know buy Tezos at a dollar cost average but if you're looking to make money from it in the shorter time frame guys then uh, you might want to look at some other coins if if Tezos can get above two dollars and two and a half dollars then great if not uh, there's probably better coins to look at and this is the Tezos Bitcoin chart which is quite important as well uh, Tezos uh, needs to get back above previous support and if it does it great if not I will be looking at the 2000 Satoshi level so hopefully you guys enjoyed that video it's been a long video over 25 minutes I've shared fun uh, my details fundamentally on my thoughts on Tezos I've shared with you trading strategy hopefully you guys have enjoyed it if you have enjoyed it guys smash that like button subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification button if you're interested in trading guys I'll, I'll leave the links below you can check out our group guys I'm live streaming there talking about cryptocurrency forex stock market uh, I highly recommend you check it out if you're interested more about trading and investing so thank you very much guys i hope you guys have enjoyed it um, to end the video guys i'll ask you guys what is your thoughts on tezos comment below your price prediction or thoughts on the project and let's have a discussion so thank you very much smash that like button subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys soon with another great video thank you very much